Discovery four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hi everybody and welcome to Mission Control for another feature focused video. In this video we're going to talk about using an external screen. Using an external screen on your console or PC suite setup can be a handy way to expand your ability to access items in your show file. You can use a touch screen also if you wish, but it's not required to be a touch screen. Consoles in the PC suite may have one external or additional screen. The exception would be the Sapphire, which can have two. These keys help us control our windows, and here you'll find the open and close key, as well as the size position key and the min max key. If we use AVO plus size and position, it will move our window to an external screen. AVO and min max will switch which window we are controlling. AVO and close will close all the open windows. The window control section on each console are as follow on the Sapphire Touch is just above the trackball. On the Tiger Touch and Read, it's on the right hand side about the center of the console. On the quartz and mobile, it's on the right-hand side of the console, towards the top. So let's see some of that in action. As we see here, my Titan mobile display, if I click the open key, I have the option on the soft keys to record a workspace, uh, so the window options, open workspace windows, as well as view all. Go ahead and hit exit there. If I click the close key, whatever window has the silver bar on it, like the groups window does currently, will close. If I was to click the uh, size position button, it'll move it around the screen, change its size and its position. If you click the Bing Max button, you can see it goes full screen or back to whatever size it was last. We can see here now I've got a second display connected to my Titan Mobile, so that if I was to click the AVO key and size position, it would move to the external screen. I can then make it larger or smaller if I wish. If I was to press AVO and then min max, it would select which window I have selected right now. So I can switch between my colors windows, my gobos, beams, positions, groups, uh, time code, and capture. I then, if I have that, I can then move it between the screens if I wish. The window control keys for Titan Go are the F keys on your keyboard. These can also be used on an attached USB keyboard to any console. F2 uh, helps you select the active window. F3 uh, minimizes or maximizes the currently selected window. Shift F3 will change which window you are, have selected. F4 will change the size or position of the currently selected window. Shift F4 will move the currently selected window to the, another screen. F5 will close the currently selected window. And Shift F5 will close all open windows. Computer here with a Titan Go interface up. If I press F2 on my keyboard, you can see that now on my soft keys I have a, a list of windows that are currently open on my consoles where I can switch between them. Here's a list of what all the F keys are able to do. This is also listed in the user manual. In addition to using the hard keys or keyboard shortcuts, you may also use the cog icon on any window to set its size, position, or which screen it is on. So let's see that in use here. If we go ahead and click on the gear icon on our colors windows, we can see that I can set its size or position from any anyone here. I also have the option to set it to my second screen here. As well as once it's over there, I can set its, I can still set its size position anywhere that I so choose. And I can set it back to our main window. And that's how to use a second screen in Titan with either using your hard keys or on-screen controls. Please subscribe. Join us again for our next video. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.